I promised you guys I will keep you updated as it goes. And so here I am keeping my own part of the promise. The autopsy result is out. Hello, my beautiful people. I greet the full house from Otoshebo Mama. Hope so now they fine. When I do well, so now they help me say they share, comment, like. God go bless so now. More than no verse for my voice, so eh. I know say the word that way with this, so eh. I understand. Everybody understand what he and me. So my people, now just see that video one and one. So I put the rest video for now. I'm not listening to this month. And I know say this woman. We are in the last month. We hear what he happened to our daughter. Where be say they go this uh, school, what they call uh, Christ, Christ land for Lagos. Where something happened to, so we're not gonna know what it really happened that time. So everybody can say they need to do autopsia, no? They call it autopsia. So the the result don't come out now, okay? The autopsy they don't do one, uh, the result is out. My people, hmm, I pity for this mama for real. I pity for her. I feel her pain. I be mother. I know what it be to, to, to carry child for nine months. All what you do, you send her go school. <laughs> and the school where you send her go, you go there, you not come back in day. They'll come and tell you, tell you, say, the picking and sleep, sickler. Now picking where be say, no where. Many things where they tell this woman during that time, we wish we all see. So the woman called they say picking not the sick. Even though that very day where go school, I say nowhere. She for no even send her go. She for leave her for us because they want to do it as sport. My people, not be small thing. What did the autopsy talk? Oh. Mm. They say na electric, na shock picking for school. Can you imagine? Hey, oh Jesus. So they say na electric. You know, not say we hear when they, when they, when they about all these things. It's just that people just want may we first see what it really happen to this small little girl. Where be say just go like that. Ah, may have gentle so rest in perfect peace. So the mother come out, can't give us what it happen, can't tell us say more than see her because she thought say she go still explain say he picking on the sick. Mm -hmm. She not get picking where he's sick. Like say he's sick. If you're not if you're not telling me he goes that it has for that very day. May I put the video? May we hear from your mother? Mona, let me share this video. I want to come on here and talk about the autopsy because, like, I have always made it known it is not a judicial case. Lagos State Government is now involved. And um, I didn't want to talk about it initially. But looking back at all the accusations, all the humiliation, all the insults, that we received, I said, I owe it to my daughter for the world to know this. I promised you guys I will keep you updated as it goes. And so here I am keeping my own part of the promise. The autopsy result is out. This one was electrocuted. My daughter died of electrocution. I have been subjected to trauma for the past two weeks. Tomorrow will make it three weeks. My baby died. This school made me think I was crazy. They made me think they made They started pushing this narrative of she was sick, she was sick, she was sickly, she was sickly. They sent letters out, they sent us publications. People insulted me and my family. <laughs> to that woman who commented that your Pekin die, instead make you go do tests for all your other children. You they look for who to judge, you they look for who to fight. I will not curse you. I will not say what I'm going through. You will go through it. I will pray for you. May God judge you. To that guy that said, why should they shut down a school because of just one child? May God judge you. To everybody who kept pushing that narrative that Zomade Salami was a sick child, that I should go and do tests for my other children. 
that me and my husband should go and run tests if we are sick. I will not say the pain I'm going through, that you will go through it. I will tell you that the God of truth and justice will judge you because only God searches the heart. If you were paid to bully me, to insult my family, if you were paid to insult me, to kick me at my lowest, may God judge you. With pain in my heart, with tears in my eyes, on the grave of my daughter, may God in his anger judge you. My child was in a chocolate to death. <laughs> what this school did I told them I don't want trouble I don't want trouble all I want is answers they came to my house I knelt down I begged I pleaded. I said, Mrs. Amao, please. I don't know how autopsy is being done, but I have browsed it and the image is scary. Please. My daughter is already dead. Don't make me put her through that. They will butcher her. I beg you in the name of God. You are a mother. Help me investigate and find out what happened. She said she doesn't know. They came to my house on Saturday, two days after she died. My husband told them, we have been hearing rumors of electrocution. Can you please help us investigate it? Can you please help us investigate these rumors we are hearing? They refused. My daughter was butchered for autopsy. She was opened up. They took part of her kidney. They took part of her liver. They took stomach contents. She was menstruating. They took blood. Her head was broken. They took part of her brain. They broke her leg and took both marrow. All my dear son, I was butchered just because Chris Land kept protecting their reputation. I begged, cried, I pleaded. I told them, I've already bought caskets. I have already bought caskets. I have accepted my fate. Let me go and bury my child in peace. Let me return her to her maker in complete peace. Please tell me what happened to my child. They kept on playing hockey pokey. They sent a letter to me and told me and my husband that they just want to assure us that they did everything humanly possible to save my daughter's life. How can you say that? How? I was there on that field. I was there in that stadium. Why didn't you call me? If I back my baby and cry outside, hey, me, hey, Chano, me, somebody would have saved my child. If you had called me, I will carry her on my back and run her that skelter. Somebody would have saved my child. Since you knew you didn't have a doctor on ground, you didn't have an ambulance. But instead of them to do that, what they did was they kept on pushing, pushing that narrative of she was sick on so 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 and so date she was sick on so 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 and so day she missed school on so 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 and so day she was sick Chris land up baby i know you people are here watching me i know you have spies on my page i know you have spies all over i want to ask you if she was that sick on the 31st of december on the clinic of january she was sick and parents Hey, God. Una shock me. Mothers. No. Women like me. We carry Belen, Tale, Borun, Push, Peking. Come out. You are supporting Chris Land. Are you not paying school fees? Why is it so important to you to remain in the school's good books? A parent told my friend that eh, but when it comes to sick, Jare, when it comes to my sick, I carry. Ah, I will not curse you. May 
God judge you. If I say what has happened to me should happen to you, that is me wishing death on an innocent child, and I would never do that. But I will say, may God judge you. To those people commenting evil comments that said, eh, happy king die, she go wear gold. Happy king die, she wear glasses. May God judge you. You kicked me when I was down. May God in his anger judge you. All the evil comments, I have your names down. I will cry out to God and I will say, Jehovah, in your anger, judge them. I never believed any human being in this world would laugh when a child dies. I never believed it. Chris Lang kept pushing this narrative of she was sick, she was sick, she was sickly, she was sick. Even me, baby, the mama, I begin to doubt. Say, I be true, true, this girl is sick. Why? My husband kept asking me, was she sick at any time that I didn't know about? I said, is it possible? She was sick, yet you put her in the program. She was sick, but she was coming for rehearsals almost every day. This lad told me one day that, Mommy, I'm tired. We went to run at the stadium today. I'm tired. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. And I said, okay, stay at home and rest. Uh -uh. Stay at home and rest. Use medicine. I gave her parastamol. And she slept in. The teacher called me. Ah, Mommy, with me, we didn't say she's fine. She just needs to rest and use some medication. Oh, Mario. Next thing, they wrote letter. On the one thing, one thing of February, she missed school. We called her mother. She said she was sick. Let me. Amy. The 20th of January that you people are pushing that she was sick, she was sick, she was sick. Nothing is wrong with my child. I had doctor's report to prove it. They called me that eh, a witness said she's feeling somehow, she's feeling short, short of breath. Exactly. I said, okay. And I called my husband, please. Daddy, where are you? He said, ah, I'm on my way to Ikeja. I said, okay, please, can you, can you help me to uh, rush by uh, Whitney's school and check on her? her? Her principal just called me. My husband said, fine. He got there. They called her out. She was fine. She walked out by herself. She carried her bag. Nobody said anything to her father. They said they told her father. They didn't tell her father shit. My husband, in his usual manner of headache, hospital, stomach, hospital, temperature, hospital, he took her to the hospital. It was God at work. Because if it was me, I would have brought her home. That's because he was going to share you, seem fine to me. But for his own kind of person, he took her to the hospital. I joined them there at the hospital. The doctor looked at her. He said, but you are fine. What is giving you anxiety? Are you stressed? He said, no. Is anybody toasting you in school? We all laughed. He said, I have one boy disturbing you in school. We laughed. He said, I've checked you. He checked her heart, her ears, her throat, her tongue, her eyes, everything. He checked. He said, you are fine. And he said, the doctor said, if she is going back to school, because this was around 11 a.m. slash 12 noon, he said, if she is going back to school, please tell her teacher that if she needs to rest, let her rest. Because he asked my daughter, she said, we are having inter-house sports. He asked her, is anything stressing? She said, no, we are just having inter-house sports. So he said, okay, if she's going back to school, please let her, if the teacher wants her to rest, if she wants to let the teacher allow her to 